Hey YouTube, welcome to a new video. I'm Philip Jacob and you're watching Metal Beings. Today's review is on the BMW X4 30D M Sport X. While checking out the exterior, you have the adaptive LED headlamps. So they have a range of 500 meters and can do the high beam, low beam all by itself. And it can also individually cut down its LEDs to not glare the opposite traffic. And while checking in the middle, you have active airstream kidney grills. So as you can notice, they are shut right now. These can open and close depending upon the engine's temperature. So once the engine is in its optimum temperature, they shut down and in return in high speeds, it increases the aerodynamic efficiency of the car. And on the lower part of the bumpers, you have the LED fog lamps incorporated and also the sensors which are included in the bumpers itself. And these bumpers are the M Sport X bumpers. So on all the variants of the X4, the bumpers remain the same. The car comes in standard with 19 inch alloy wheels and these are the M Sport alloy wheels what you get along with the car. And they have a 245-50 R19 tires, both in the front and back. They are on flat tires. You can drive at 80 km per hour speed up to 80 km with zero pressure inside them. And as you can notice, you also get the blue calipers with the M badging on them. Going ahead. While checking the side profile of the car, so this is where the uniqueness of the car comes. This is a coupe design. And uh, as per aerodynamics, the bumpers have air curtains in them, so through which the air passes. And in high speeds, the wheel arches will have turbulence in them. So because the air passes through the vent, it reduces the turbulence inside the wheel arches. And in return, it increases the aerodynamic efficiency and increases the handling characteristics. The car also comes with acoustic comfort glazing on its windshield. So what it does is that it reduces the outside noise from traveling inside the cabin, which means that lower NVH levels inside the cabin. And as you can notice on the bumpers, even on the sides, you have the sensors. So which means that this car comes with 360 degree sensors. You have a ornament over here with brushed aluminium finishing and the M badging out here. You have the cladding on the bottom, so which is part of the M Sport kit. The mirrors have a two-tone color to it, so the body color comes on the top and the black color comes on the bottom. It also has the indicators running alongside. So these mirrors can also auto dim. So the exterior right hand side mirror and the inner rear view mirror, they can auto dim also so that let's say at night when you're driving and there is high beam being projected to you from the rear. So once that dims out, it doesn't glare your sight. And again, going through the side profile, you get the polished finishing on the window sills around the window sills. And then this is a 30D and this is again a BS6 variant so you'll be able to notice the add blue liquid tank out here and then we come to the rear while checking out the rear you get 3d designed tail lamps and they also have a smoked effect on it so that it gives a sportier look and appeal and they are completely LEDs and this being a coupe design you know some people love it and some people people it's it's hard for them to accept it and you have the bmw logo which also is part of opening the boot it acts as a switch and you also get the m sport bumpers which have the sensors incorporated into them so you again have this two-tone color in that you get this grayish finish on them and you get two functional exhaust pipes and a rear view camera just above the place where the number plate fits so the car comes with an electric tailgate so all i need to do is just push this bmw logo and it opens all the way up 
and I have a decent amount of boot space and uh, if I want I can also retract the seats down at 40, 20 and 40 split and behind this I also have some functional hooks and also a 12 volt charging point out here and other small spaces and just underneath the plank I also have a donut wheel decent space and I also get an additional tray out here which is also on the tailgate so that once the tailgate is closed you don't see that the outsiders will be able to find the luggage what you're carrying and while checking out the roof you have a shark fin antenna and you have the rails again with a brushed aluminium finishing on that and you can also notice the panoramic sunroof the engine is a three liter diesel engine with total of six cylinders it is a inline six engine it produces 265 bhp and 620 newton meters of torque it can do a zero to hundred in just six seconds flat and as per air ai it has a mileage claim of 14.7 kilometers per liter so right now we are seated inside the bmw x4 30d m sport x and the first thing you notice is this beautiful m sport steering wheel you get the m badging out here and this is an m sport steering wheel so naturally you have a much more chunkier feel onto it and uh, the steering wheel has the controls on the left hand side for your speed limiter and the cruise control and this is the switch through which you toggle the speed you want to travel in and on the right hand side you have the controls for the media and for your calls so you can increase and decrease the volume you can switch to which uh, station you want or which song you want using this answering and disconnecting the call and this is to bring up the menu and this is to activating your voice assistant so in case if your phone is connected using this voice assistant you can also activate siri or ok google and again you have the paddle shifters on the steering wheel left hand side for the downshift and the right hand side for upshift and then you have the left hand side stock so it has a button bc and a over there so bc is the onboard computer and a is for the adaptive leds for them to work and the rest is a normal headlight and indicator function and on the right hand side you have the controls for your windshield wiper system going through the instrument cluster the instrument cluster is a fully digital 12.3 inch hd screen on the left hand side you have the speedometer and on the right hand side you have the tachometer on the middle you get the information of your navigation data on the extreme left and right you get the fuel gauge and the temperature gauge over there and just above that you also get the head-up display so using the head-up display you get various other information for example the speed you're traveling it's not quite clear but i'm able to see it so you get the speed data your media data your call log data everything in that even your navigation data would come through the head-up display and the main information display is an 8.8 .8 inch touchscreen system so i can toggle through them and this being an id7 i have the running widgets on them and also the main menu towards the left hand side you also get apple carplay which is wireless in this so without using any wires you can seamlessly connect your apple mobile phone and you get the complete carplay data screen which is a full screen in this this time the car comes with a Harman Kardon music system so you have 16 speakers on the whole and they make a 600 watt and you also have a 20 GB internal memory so let's say if you want some favorite music always there inside your car you need not have a pen drive kept inside your car all you need to do is just transfer that music from the pen drive to the car and you have your favorite music all time so the car also comes with gesture control for you so you have a sensor just above and you can just do some actions to do certain functions on the car for example you can increase and decrease your volume i can change the stations next or the previous one also and then there are individually assignable so this is mute 
and this is unmute so these are all the features which are available as gesture control also in the car going down you get this metallic kind of a finished uh, trim along with the brushed aluminium outlining for the ac vents you also get the media control with the touch sensitive buttons the touch sensitive buttons can be individually assigned so one could be your favorite music station number two can be your contact number three can be your tire pressure monitoring system anything as such and the buttons are also completely premium you get the metallic finishing on them you get three zone ac in this so the left hand side and the right hand side can have separate temperature and at the rear that is again a control wherein they can set a temperature for the rear alone going down you have a wireless charging pad and also a usb port over here and this place completely can be shut down also you have the x4 badging again with the metallic finishing out there you have two cup holders one which is like an ashtray and you have the cigarette lighter which is a 12 volt socket point out here you get an 8 speed automatic gearbox and this is a electric shifter for it you get the iDrive controller towards your left this is a touchpad so let's say if you want to enter in details of a mobile number or address input for navigation you can enter it by just writing on this touchpad out here and then you have the handbrake you also have the auto hold feature this is the hill descent control so let's say you have a little bit of off-roading going on then you can use a hill descent control you have the parking sensors so this car also comes with a parking assistant so you have 360 degree sensors and just the reversing camera but it can also do the parking for you it can do the bay parking and parallel parking together you have the three driving modes which is eco pro comfort and sport and then you also have the adaptive by default it will be in the comfort mode in adaptive the car itself adapts for your driving style and this car also has adaptive suspension system so along with the engine response the gearbox response and the steering response your suspension also changes depending upon your driving modes so in comfort your suspension is soft and in sportier mode it becomes stiffer same goes through the steering wheel also so the steering wheel becomes stiffer in sportier mode and in comfort it's much more softer so the reason why it becomes stiffer is that it gives you more confidence in driving in high speeds and gives you better handling characteristics and then you have the traction control button out here you get a hand wrist which can be opened and you get a c port charger inside with a small space and a small light lit for it the interior we have in this car is called as cognac and the seats you get the sports seats in these you have the additional thigh support you also get the additional bolster support which can be electronically adjusted out here and the rest is electronically adjusted for the complete seat the front left and right seats are electronically adjusted and the right seat also has memory seat function on them so as you notice on the door you have the memory functions which is two memory functions and you get the trim outlining going from the dashboard to the doors also you get the ambient lightings six color combinations on the whole and you also get a x badging which reminds you that you have a four wheel drive so right now we are seated at the rear of the bmw x430 d m sport x and as told before you have the controls for your air conditioning out here so you have the air vents and also the control wherein you set the temperature out here and just below that you have a small space and below that you have two c port chargers so which is very practical for you right now and below the uh, front seats you have a small space wherein you can keep some stuff out there and the same trim lines go to the rear door also again you get the x badging with a metallic finish you get the trims with the ambient lightings running across it the seats are cognac seats as told before and these are genuine vernesca leather 
so this is the layout what you would be getting in all the variants and this being an M Sport X model you get anthracite roof lining which means that you get the black roof lining so the complete roof would be black for you and you also get a panoramic sunroof so the car being a sports activity coupe it has some sportier things what you can do also so this has launch control also in it so if you have seen my 330 im sport video the same launch control what i do in that car it's possible in this car also and let's say if you're doing off-roading the car is also equipped with variable torque split in the rear differential and adbx which is automatic differential locks so you have a step higher when you're having tough courses on the go apart from that i think i've explained most of the features in the car if there is anything any doubts please do let me know on the comment section down below please do like share and subscribe to the channel because it supports me and the channel i'll see you guys in another video with another car bye bye